Born Mary Substop, Philadelphia, PA. Shot so loud, you would think it was a club spot. African Americans, although we all over the web, we the hood librarians. We ship the prisons too. We reach out and deliver to those that's bitten too. But it's more than a bookstore. You want it, we got it. Mixtapes, DVDs, and culture products. Black and Nobel got our hands in a lot of projects. We welcome all to come build. The energy is positive. And remember, other team is awake and conscious. Come through and experience this place of knowledge. They say they'll put it in a book if they wanna hide it from us. But we got them books so you can buy it from us. Something to read while you on a train or riding a bus. Get your read on, food for thought, get your eat on. Black and Nobel. I buy my books at Black and Nobel. Black and Nobel. I buy my books at Black and Nobel. Black and Nobel. I buy my books at Black and Nobel. Black and Nobel. I buy my books at Black and Nobel. They got that new Meek Mill book, Tony Story. <laughs> uh, they don't need that. Yeah, my name is uh, Troy Brinkley. I'm all, I also go by the name of Shaheed. Well, first of all, I'm 45. I've been in the streets 30 some odd years. But the uh, what we call the game, the quote unquote game, man. For me, when I when I when I when I uh, when I signed up for whatever I signed up for in the early '80s, man, you know, there was still uh, some rules, man. There was still some rules, man. Right now, in the year 2013, what I see is a bunch of shame, man. You know, uh, it shame. It hurts my heart to know that the thing in which I signed up for was no more than a lie, man. We already were subconsciously here before, man. It's just that our form of body just catching up with our spirits. Everybody got a purpose in life, you know what I'm saying? Some people purpose is to fuck up with a thousand times until they get to that thousand and one, and then they doing right, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, some people just can't get shit right, you know? Like, like, it's crazy that you, like, like when he was telling me the numbers, it was 67, I'm like, damn, that's a blessing. We all get different blessings. You walk away from that, you know what I'm saying? I walk around with a metal plea in my face, you know what I'm saying? From the top of my head to head, you know what I'm saying? I was supposed to be dead. It's like you were supposed to be under the jails, I was supposed to be under the ground. But we walked through, there's a reason why we're here. Oh, uh, yes, I definitely have a story to tell. I just was, um, uh, acquitted um, from, on a major drug conspiracy charge uh, in the federal court system in Philadelphia, the Eastern District of Pennsylvania. The biggest, uh, the biggest indictment in the history of Philadelphia. Uh, I was indicted with 67 people, in which 66 uh, people were either convicted or cooperated with the government. And uh, I was the only one that went to trial. Uh, well, three of us went to trial, and I was the only one found not guilty. Uh, no, I just feel blessed, man, because like you said, uh, all praise is belong to the law. And for whatever reason, I was the one that was uh, that that was able to walk away. Uh, yeah, I would consider it a victory, but you know, I just feel blessed, man, to be actually, to be honest with you. Well, uh, I've been, I've been uh, locked up for uh, six and a half years out of my life. I'm 45 years old, which I don't think for the average one of us uh, is is a whole lot of time. But any any day in jail is too much time, you know. I'm not here to glorify the streets or, or the life or that life in general. And I just feel as though, man, we should make better decisions, man, because, you know, uh, I've been blessed, man, like I said. Um, to, to, I feel like I've been blessed to be an uh, African-American, to not do a whole lot of time, but me personally. But I have homies that's in jail, man, that have been in jail for 35 and 40 years, some 25 years. So, you know what I mean? Like, for every... Every one of me is, is, is eight or nine other guys that, that, that sit down when they face the rack of time. And this is real, man. You know, it's real. Uh, I just want to tell the youth, man, to um, to make better decisions, man, uh, at a young age, man, because if they don't make uh, the right decisions at a young age, they could be in situations that are, um, that's not uh, conducive to uh, having a good, successful life, man and to try not to get caught up in the streets, man, because 
the streets is no more than a trap, man. And uh, these pres these prisons are being built, man, so that the youth can fill them. And you know, so I feel as though people like myself, man, have a uh, have a moral obligation to try to stir some of the youth in the right direction, man. Write a book, get some money. Then that's a question. You did sign with your struggle. Like, you know, so I try to always tell people, like, man, I'm the business, man. Uh, for one, my hands don't get dirty. I don't like drama around me or nonsense, you know Because I can, I can help you. I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. Like, so, you know, I just always stay like that. And, like, a lot of my friends, they dead, locked up. I got a couple homies doing double life, triple life. And then now they got to deal with it, you know what I'm saying? A couple homies dead that could you know, just shit like that. But I be like, I look at them like, I'm glad I always walked away. But I always thought I had a ghetto angel. Something that called me, you know what I'm saying, away from the drama. So, you know, I'm just happy to be here. Hey, man, the funny part is this, man. I just, um, I just, I just beat this case, man, two weeks ago, June 12th. Man. And the funny part is, you know, I came here because I was, uh, doing, 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 doing my brief uh, incarceration. Were you getting books, man? Yeah, I was getting books, man, man. That's what you know, down. I respect Black and Nobel, man, for the things that y'all doing, man. Y'all y'all definitely showing love throughout the penal system, man. Definitely. No federal, state. You know, so I said, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to try to, you know, tap into these brothers, man, because of the positive things that you're doing, man. And, you know, and I commend y'all, man, and I just encourage y'all to keep, keep, uh, you know, keep, keep doing what you're doing, man. And I encourage the people to support you know, black people. You know, and you can have a stronger, stronger peace, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we all we got, man. We all we got, man. You know, it's real, man. Stop recording right there. That was the best. You know me, I'm so fly. But look like money every time I ride by. Got them binges in my pocket. It's money on my mind. If it ain't about no paper, then it ain't about I. Cause I get, get, get it. Money I get. I step up in the club. I be feeling like a bitch. When I be in the hood, I be probably with your bitch. You know she probably on my tip because I'm probably the shit. Yeah. Well, it's your boy Meek Melly. Chilling down here, bro, Nary, Black and Noble. We in front of the Black and Noble bookstore, man. You know, we got the mixtapes going crazy.